before we start today we really desperately have to fix this back on properly because it's really really loose and it's just like shaking around and doing yeah funny things So actually we have two mounting plates, the one that came with the bike, but it's not compatible with our box. So actually these two plates are just attached together like that. So I had to take off plate number one, and now I've got to tighten up plate number two, and then put it all back together again. We're going to put some cable ties around here to secure it, and then our box should be a lot more like secure. <laughs> Fingers crossed! Okay, so everything is tightened up now. Listen to this very little movement there and we've also cut out a little piece from our sitting mat taped it here and that's like gonna add an extra dampening have a little look okay that is pretty good that's as good as we're gonna get it i think the whole thing still moves around a bit but it's much less rattly than it was before Yes, for sure. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 386 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are in La Paz in Mexico. So it's actually quite late already. So I'm just about to prepare some lunch for us. We have tortilla with beans, avocado, peppers, mayonnaise. It's pretty much the same thing that we've been having for the past like week every day for lunch and dinner. But I'm still not tired of it. It's still an amazing dish. I love it. I love Mexican food. We just did our live Q&A this morning with our members and our patrons. So if you guys are interested in joining us, we do a, like a live chat, ask us anything. If you'd like to join us there, then you can join us on Patreon or become a member of the channel. The link is in the description below. But after lunch, we are gonna hit the road. It's nearly midday, but we're gonna hit the road. So let me show you guys where we're trying to get to today. So we are here. And today we're going to be starting our journey north up the Baja California Peninsula towards the US border. This is the first of three big rides to get close to the US border to cross on the fourth day. In total, it's like 16 hours riding to get to a town called Ensenada, which is very near Tijuana, which is where the border is to San Diego. So if we could make it a third of that distance, so something like six hours of riding, then we'll be all good. So today we will try to get as far as we can. We will have our lunch and then we are ready to hit the road. All right. Right, let's try to... Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, look at that. The clearance is just enough. Hey! Gracias. Ciao, ciao. Brilliant. All in, all on, all ready to rock. Ready to rock and rumble. You got the toilet cheese bag? Uh, I think so. I don't know. Do I? Did you brush your teeth? No. You didn't? No, I forgot. Sweet tea. I have the toiletries bag. Okay, you have? Yeah. Perfect. I have to turn around. I, I think I have to go that way on the oh, street. Oh no! I think it says to go this way. Yeah. What a beautiful day today! It's 28 degrees. It's nice and sunny, blue skies. Yeah, and La Paz has a really nice feel to it as a town, hey? It's just like yeah. all these palms and we're right next to the ocean. Yes. Amazing. But man, we've got a way to go. The estimation is saying that we'll arrive at like quarter past six. That's without even a break. Wow. Beautiful desert, cactuses, beautiful hills. So it's going to be a lovely ride. Yes. First thing we have to do though to get some petrol. Oh yeah. Get some bumblebee juice. Hola, buenas. Hola. Regular yellow. Gracias. Oh, there was it with the iPad. Wow. Technology, hey? Um, carreta, eh, possible? See? Si? Okay, cool. So the price per litre is 21.99, 20, just under 22 pesos, which is almost exactly one pound a litre. It's not too bad. Perfecto, gracias, gracias. Gracias. Muchas gracias, thank you. All right. Ready to rock and rumble? 
Oh yes, ready to make some distance up into the Baja California Peninsula. Let's do it. Baja truly is the land of cactuses. Look at these big fellas here. <laughs> what a beautiful landscape. It's absolutely crazy how many cactuses there are here and just how big they are. I mean, most of them are probably more than three meters tall. I really, I don't have words for that. It's just insane here. It's insane. Here are pretty much cactuses everywhere. And they look all so funny. They look so funny. Yeah, a lot of them are like the very stereotypical cactus, right? Like the one you see in the, on the sign of a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, the WhatsApp emojis. Yeah, the WhatsApp cactus emoji. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly that. That is this cactus. Yeah. I mean, look at that one right over there. Yes! It's like exactly uh, the WhatsApp emoji. Nice. Beautiful. No, really, I'm totally in love with these cactuses. They have so much, like, character, you know? Yeah, they have a majestic posture, don't they? It's like they're posing for a painting. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely spectacular. Just stopped you on the side of the road because look, this has got to be one of the biggest cactuses I have ever seen. Look at this, it's so absolutely massive. Look at the size of this trunk. Wow, it's like a tree. It's like a cactus forest here. Yeah, it's incredible. It's crazy, hey? Incredible. I mean, look, look around. Look, this is just cactuses all along here, all the way around on the sides of this little track. I absolutely love this landscape. Baja is beautiful. So we just stopped for a break and it's really cold here. It's like 22 degrees at the moment. I can't believe it, I'm actually freezing. Yeah, we've crossed over now from the inside of the Baja Peninsula to the outside, to the Pacific side. And I think we're pretty close back to the ocean here. You can feel the difference, crazy. It's like 10, 12 degrees difference. It's really crazy and I'm really hungry. So it's just about lunchtime. They have a shop here. I will see what I can find. I got us some homemade potato chips and some chocolate. Whoa. This was really cheap. <laughs> just. Six. 20 pence. Time for some tacos. They're pretty salty. Flavia and Oli, welcome to Baja. Enjoy our beautiful land. <laughs> Thank you. You will have a lot of fun. I am a local. I'm born in Baja, born and raised. I'm so proud of my land and I, it's nice to share with these weird people. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Awesome. Have fun. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good trip. That's great to know people that are doing what I bring to the world. 26,999 point nine. We just hit 27,000 miles on the road. Woo! I wonder if somebody counted them at one point. <laughs> <laughs> they are not going to run out of cactuses anytime soon. I mean, it's just amazing that this one plant has been able to just... Oh, oh be careful here. So I just hit a pothole, hey? The cactus thrives here, but this motorcycle does not. I cannot believe that. We just flew through a swarm of bees and one of the bees hit me stinger first and then we just stopped on the side of the road and i had to just pull the stinger out look at that he's st 
stung me through my uh, through my layer. Tell you why, it's a good thing that my uh, visor wasn't open, I tell you. We just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys about our amazing sponsor, On Vacation Doctor, and their super handy app for people traveling the world like us. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you with top English speaking doctors in any country in the entire world. Just put in your location and this app will provide you with the name, the location and the phone number of the nearest English speaking doctor to you. It also provides local ambulance, fire and police numbers as well as the local embassy address and phone number. But the awesome thing about this app is that it's absolutely free to use for the first six months and then only four 99 for the next six months. So super helpful and super affordable. Show your support for our very first sponsor by downloading the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Stay healthy, travel safe, and now back to the video. Wow, look at this view. Yeah, so it's opened up into a huge valley here. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, it looks unreal. <laughs> Such a nice ride today, like just incredibly uh, beautiful like quiet the road is not too bad just like one of these dream rides you can have baja is a wild place there's not really many people here where we where we've ridden so far it's been so just big open landscapes and just a lot of wild nature around us it's so cool this is like coming into patagonia again yeah really beautiful yeah let's have a look don't go too close to the edge, don't go too close to the edge. Wow, look at that. Woohoo, Jesus. That's a beautiful scene. I mean, look, it just looks like, it looks like they will come to see the canyon, haven't they? Wow, cool. Amazing. So we found some different spots on iOverlander actually and we just called up one campsite and we asked for the price and he said oh 200 pesos which is about 10 pounds so i hope that is real we will drive there now it's about one hour away from here normally we wanted to go a little bit further but uh, we totally run out of time so it's now six o'clock at seven o'clock is the sunset here so we will go there now it's about one hour and check out this place and see if it's real wow it's crazy we were like riding the whole day basically on flat land in a giant cactus forest and then what a surprise at the end of the day this beautiful landscape around us a Kenyan cactus paradise <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly when I thought of Mexico I thought of like canyons and cactuses but up until this point we hadn't really seen that we hadn't seen anything like this so yeah what a beautiful landscape to finish the day Wow, the views, they're just getting better and better. So we have actually reached the warm side again. It's like 24 degrees now. Yeah, and that's because we have reached the Gulf of California now, the Sea of Cortez, which is just on the other side of these hills. Wow, I can feel the hot air coming up as well. Crazy. Down over there. <laughs> wow. But yeah, this landscape is absolutely just spectacular i mean look at this the best really just the best and it just literally popped out of nowhere it must have been up on like a plateau or something because suddenly we came down and it was just like whoosh, the land was 
absolutely not flat anymore. It's so pretty here, wow. The size of this road just makes it even cooler. It just kind of winds around all these hills. It's not too intrusive. It feels like we're sort of very integrated into the landscape. I mean, look at this down there. Wow. Some switchbacks coming. And I don't know if you guys can see, but just in the background, through that gap in the hills, is the Sea of Cortez. Wow. And uh, that's where we're going to be staying tonight, pretty much right next to the ocean in a town called Loretta. And the campsite is, I think it's like one block from the ocean. So that means since we've arrived on the Baja California Peninsula, we started on the inland side, we rode to the outer side, we went back to the inside. Today we rode back to the outer side and back to the inner. <laughs> That's how many times we've crossed this peninsula already. <laughs> but yeah, really, really pleasantly surprised by Baja California. And definitely a good decision to take the ferry over here. A little piece of paradise. So we've arrived in the town of Loreto. Look at this place. It's like a mega fancy resort town. Look at this hotel. It looks really, really beautiful. It does actually. And our camping, it looks like it's basically right at the end of this road, right next to the ocean. We're gonna have to set up fast when we get there because look, it's getting pretty dark already. Yeah. Officially sunset was five minutes ago. There's a funny sound coming off from our bike. Yeah. From Bumblebee and we don't know exactly what it is, so. A little bit of a sort of rattling or a grinding or some weird noise. Yeah. I just noticed it literally when we rolled into town. My one says we have to go like to the front. Okay, a little bit further. Yeah. Oh look, Romanita. Wait a minute, let's turn here. Look at this little street. This is absolutely beautiful here. Wow. Should be. Should be just somewhere here. Somewhere around here. Yeah. Maybe here? This one. Think so? Yes. But I don't know where the entrance is. Here? Yeah, and it's already pitch black here. So we just managed to set up our camp and get everything sorted in time. And now we are on our way to go and check out the ocean, even though it's dark. But the area here is absolutely insane. So super beautiful. I'm really impressed. And the ride today as well was just the best scenic route ever. Absolutely, especially towards the end, it just got better and better and better. I'm really impressed Baja, I'm really impressed. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. What can you see? I just saw a fish jumping. Hey, woo!